Guys, I'm like outside and I'm really scared. Help. Hey guys, Lydia here, and this is going to be a Waltz a Week number 30 something. And, um, I'm actually filming outside. Wow, go me. Um, I just thought I would because, you know, why not? Now I gotta remember what I made first. Um, I'm actually laying on the floor, so. I mean, the ground. I've been inside too long. Seems clear to I ha and this was an order. I just have to put her name on it. It'll probably be done in the second part of this video. And it's got a frosted ID plastic as she requested, and glad zip block that is real strong. And a color stripe and no sticking the ID. So just gotta get a couple air bubbles out of that clear tape job. So yeah, this is actually pretty good lighting. I mean, it's not that very bright. Oh, by the way, I promise there's not going to be any, like, grass or bugs in your wallets. Or wallets, huh? Then there was this that uh, was a race with Bubbles DT Waltz. And I really messed up on this. But it's got pastel orange. And there's a lot of air bubbles. Anyways, um, this is the wrong side of the ID. The inside is what should be on the outside, so go me. I messed up. Um, then I made this wallet, which I, which was also a collab. By the way, I won the race on the accordion wallet. was a collab with Bubbles DT wallets. I think she has to finish the design, but it's just got five card pockets and ID. Everything's clear taped, and if you didn't know, this is how I do my hiddens. Um, I do it like you wouldn't round them, and then I cut it down a little bit, and then I clear tape the sides so it is round, and technically it just looks better, and there's not, like, that big bulk right here, I guess you would say. Um, Seth Lock coin pouch in the hidden, and you saw the design, it's an air hats design. It actually turned out pretty good, and it's got, it's clear taped fairly well. But yeah, it turned out pretty nice. I mean, I kind of messed up on his nose and stuff, but yeah. Turned out nice. As I keep on saying. Then there's this, which is the pocket woman's wallet. And I'm going to make a tutorial soon. I promise. Then it's got three card pockets. And instead of a short, it's just got a regular card pocket. And the trims, the trims are, not, like, okay, I guess. Actually, the trims are pretty nice. Just the spacing is a little uneven. Sadly, then it's just got Velcro with a flip-up ID. No sticking the ID. And the pockets are four inches, by the way. Same with the whole, like, width of the woman's wallet. Hence the Liddy Stripe. I don't, I don't know why I call it that. The Stripe. Um, then this, which has a lot of air bubbles. A little pocket. Yeah, and all the seams are clear taped, except for this one on the inside. But the rest are, and the entire outside is clear taped. That turned out pretty nice, and the clear tape job is okay. Then there's this last one, which I just made today. Same with the other mini woman's wallet. So, wow, that's a lot for me. Um... There's this, which clear taped okay, but like I still need to get some little air bubbles out. Then it's got a chrome billfold, clear taped, well duct tape and clear tape at the bottom, but all the chrome is clear taped. And then this color combination, which goes to KF Creations or Cali. And it's got a hidden and a Ziploc coin pouch. And I like it. I didn't like it at first, but I do now. It's all clear taped on the outside, so folds in to cover these, these sides and the bottom. So that's nice, and then this is also clear taped. Yeah! Um, so that is it for this first part of this Wallets of the Week. And I will see you in the next clip. Oh, look, I'm back inside, safe and sound. Surprisingly, I mean, going outside is a dangerous thing. Single. First, I have this little, little mini, 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 mini accordion. This was the second one I made it with A plus, A pluses tutorial. And I just got a little piece of tape there to hold it closed. Um, then we got this one, which was my first one with chrome. To be honest, I've just been using the Ziploc. But anyways, those are super cute. And then we got this one that I made at like 2 a.m. in the morning. And I forgot to clear tape the seams, but it's all lined up. And then white with um, a regular stripe. And I just decided to use Ziploc brand, which has been surprisingly very strong. So I've been using that a little bit more often than Glad now. But I don't have very many wallets for this clip. 
And we have this one, which was for a collab on Instagram, like a, a collab account. Um, I think the Trending Tapers is what it's called. I'm terrible at names, like remembering them. So, yeah, and one thing I hate about this is that it's crooked like this. But, you know, it's pretty scrapbooking paper. And I took a pretty epic picture of it. Um, then there's this one, which I also made at, like, 2 a.m. in the morning. Pretty strong Ziploc as well. Then I made this frozen pocket looms well. Like I said, I promise I'm going to have the tutorial up soon. I still need to film it, though. And I feel like I have really bad lighting, but oh well. Um, it's all clear taped on the outside. With three card pockets. All the chrome is clear taped, except for in the background of the ID. Kind of forgot, but the seam is facing down, and yep. All the trims are clear taped. A pocket. Clear tape at the bottom. Clear tape at the bottom. And duct tape at the bottom. And then this chrome is clear taped as well. And, yep, I really love that one, like, the color combo, because, like, the chrome kind of represents her hair, I guess, Elsa's hair, and then the pastel pink is just, like, in the background and stuff. It's pretty cute. Um, then we have this one, which was, I finally finished the order, so I'll be sending it out soon, and seams are clear taped, as well as the design. And then just white on the inside with glad ziplock, as you can see. I'm not going to open it just because order. With a ID, no stick at the bottom. And the trim is clear taped. So yeah, that's what she wanted. And thank you so much for ordering, Olivia. I don't know if you pronounce it a special way since it's spelled with an A. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a magical unicorn day. There's even like a little unicorn graffiti thing on here. Can we just appreciate that? Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye.